Not a slave in sight. Where is everyone? There aren't even any soldiers. Something feels off. I don't like it. Like the fact that the enemy could ambush us at any moment? Yeah, not crazy about that either. No, not that. Something else. That must be Volron's castle up ahead. I suppose we just walk right up to it then? That's what the guard from before said. Now if we only knew where they were keeping Xion, we could try to... That's it! Hmm? That weird feeling. It's not just that the city is empty. It feels like no one lives here at all. Now that you mention it, it does feel strangely... artificial. Think maybe it's a district just for the Renans alone? With all this open space? Seems unlikely. Danins, right? That wasn't normal. Wait, you don't think it could have been the fruit of Helgen, do you? No, they seem too docile. What about astral energy? Could you sense any coming from them? No, and I'm pretty sure I could tell if it was. If not that, though, then what? Speaking of which, it didn't look like there was anyone guarding them either. They were headed for the castle. I have a bad feeling about those boats. I get what you mean. It didn't feel like those folks are just commuting with work. The waterway they're floating on appears to lead to Del Forest Castle. If we follow it, we may learn more about what's taking place here. Man, this place gives me the creeps. La, your legs are shaking. What? Liar. Just kidding. <laughs> you... So, any ideas what the deal was with that boatload of weirdos? Your guess is as good as mine. They looked like Dan and slaves, but beyond that... This city is grander and more beautiful than any other we've been to, yet... I know what you mean. From the architecture right down to the people, something feels off somehow. I've long maintained one can glean a lot about a ruler from their city. Considering how unsettling this place is, I'd say I wasn't far off the mark. Despite its surface layer of majesty, walking around inside... It feels more like a hollowed-out ruin. I say we follow after that boat. If we're lucky, it might be in the mood to give us some answers. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive in this city. Where the hell did all the Danans and Renans go?
nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. But... No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing. Or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! that murdering monster? It's all a demonstration designed to provoke. To prove to us, no, to Alfin, just what he's capable of. Kidnapping Xion. Killing all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. Is this what I think it is? Those people, they were all 
He's sick. Sick and deranged. Remember this well. This is the true face of who we're up against. Still, if it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It could be something else, like a potion perhaps, but frankly I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts, whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods. The outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Wait! Uh, something's not right. Everyone... They're gone. And I'm... all alone. It's dark. Please help me. Shion. It's so dark. Everyone... We came to save you. It's okay now. Too potent to be the work of a single individual. It's possible Volron's manipulating her. But we cannot tell from this far away. We need to be much closer. Only to do that. First, we need to get rid of the thorns. So we fight fire with fire. Unless you have a better idea. Lightning or alone. I'm alone. Sure. I can't die. But I also can't live. Sion! I... I... Sion! We're coming for you! I won't let you down this time! This pain I feel... It's nothing compared to what you're going through! I won't let you go again! I can take whatever you give me! So please... Open your eyes! Sion! Now! Take this! We here I come! Yes. Take this! You're finished! Sharp as glass! Pierce through! Rising Wyvern! Glimmer 
Finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more. away. What did you do? I missed you. Alfin. But after what happened because of me... I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> Is it just me, 
or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things... out of Xion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art. Must be Voron's Imperial Guard. They don't seem to be keeping lookout. More like they're waiting. Oh well, the royal welcome was nice while it lasted. Time to get our fists dirty, huh? Wait, we don't have a plan! As far as Law's concerned, this is the plan. Let's go! Open your eyes! This blind loyalty is just another form of slavery. Glory be to Volra! That's useless. They're brainwashed. Just like the Danon puppets we dealt with outside. You'll soon see about that! This one's mine! Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Cyclone! This ends now! 
Consider yourself finished! Well, that didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them ex- Dost us before we reach Volron. We've reached our destination. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? There's certainly an abundance of water in this realm, isn't there? Yeah. We won't have to worry about going hungry around here. Is she saying she can get full off of just water? Seriously, I'll fix you food while we're here. You don't have to worry. Huh? Why are you two so concerned all of a sudden? Is it just me, or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? Yeah, as if the astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? Kisara's got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm?
Shion, could we talk a moment? Do you mind if we chat a bit? Now there's something I never thought I'd hear you say. Remember when we talked about what it was like for me growing up? Well, I thought it only fair that I also get to ask what you were like as a child. My childhood? Maybe you missed the memo that was going around, but... I can't remember anything of my past. I know. Just whatever you can remember. There's gotta be something, right? Hmm. <sighs> Let me think. Well, have I ever told you about my army days? Back when I used to serve under a Dan and Master? Yeah, but that must have been after you were already grown up, right? Do you happen to remember anything from back when you were younger? <sighs> Actually, I remember I had a kid with me. You had a kid? No, of course not. The child's father was another soldier. Back in those days, we risked our lives for a master we'd never even seen. We just fought for them and didn't even question it. When that kid's dad died and I saw them sitting there crying, I felt this bitter, indescribable feeling. It was like I was drinking something toxic that I knew I shouldn't, but couldn't stop. It was strange. I never understood why I reacted like that. Soldiers died every day. It wasn't anything new. What it tells me is that deep down, you were the same man then as you are now. You've never been able to accept injustice in the world. If you keep talking like that, you're going to embarrass me. I wonder whatever happened to that master and poor kid. Not that there's any way of knowing now. You know, I just remembered that kid was good at sewing dolls. They gave me one once. It was a good luck charm to protect me. Dolls? You go ahead and sleep. I'm going to grab another bite to eat first. Come on, guy. We've got lots to do. Stay sharp. We're going in. 